How's it, Sean here from uh, Mel's YouTube book site, YouTube channel? Okay, starting lesson seven today. Now, just remember, as I'll say in all the other lessons, that you've got to remember that everything that was done before comes before this. Okay, you need to go and look at that because accountancy is very complicated, well, intricate, procedural based, attention to detail. If you make a mistake, you don't understand a concept, concept from earlier lessons, you won't understand this. In lesson six, we basically what we did was we did a, uh, we brought forward uh, March's uh, balances, uh, and we also then went and did an inventory count for April, and with March's bal balance brought forward, we did the customer's invoices which we got. We did a purchaser's control account. Uh, we did we then filled out the inventory account, and we did also a sales control account. So if you want more detail on that, I suggest you go watch it because it leads into this lesson. All right, so let's get started with seven. All right, so this invoice here, this supplier's invoice on the credit side, including that, this is the very same invoice we used in lesson six. Okay, so just remember that. It's the same lesson. And uh, where we brought forward the, the balance from factory B, we still owe that money to factory B, and they issued out an invoice for the balance that we still owe them. And we bought new stock from factory A and factory B. Remember that. Okay, so the total supplies accounts was uh, is one thousand six hundred and ninety six dollars and twenty five cents. Now we're going to do a supplies control account. All right, so this here, once again, you will see from our earlier lessons, we use this as an example. Okay, so this goes on the credit side in the general ledger. So everything I'm explaining to you here goes on the credit side in the general ledger. All right, that's very important. All right, so let's start with the supplier's control account. To put on the credit side, including VAT. This is where you enter the goods bought from the suppliers and where the payment in the cash book is made to the suppliers and entered into the supplier's control account at cost price. All right, okay. So you will notice that it's blank over there. It's like earlier lessons we've done. We've left one side blank because we're going to fill this out later. We've, we've put in the supplier's invoices to us, but once we pay them, we fill out this side. And it's further down. Okay, we're getting to that. All right, so let's have a look at the entries here. On the credit side, factory, uh, factory A, we bought $402.50 worth of goods with the VAT, $52.50. Factory B's March uh, invoice that was brought forward, we owe Factory B for stuff we bought, still owe them $862 and uh, 50 cents, 862 dollars and 50 cents. But there's no VAT on that because we've paid the VAT of that at the end of March. Factory B stuff we bought, the new stuff we bought from Factory B, 431 dollars and 25 cents, which is including the VAT, there's the VAT, it's 56 dollars and 25 cents, and we put the VAT on this side. All right, total VAT, 108 dollars and 75 cents. Okay, now the total for this credit side is $1,696.25. Total supplies, all right? The total VAT to put into the VAT control account on the debit side, which we're going to do later when we get to the VAT control account, later on in our lessons to follow, it's $108.75. <coughs> okay, so that's done. Now, the, ca the customer's invoices. Same invoices we used, remember, in lesson six. Same invoice. It's just brought it here to show you that we're going to open up a customer's control account. Okay. So these, if you if you have a look, it was that same invoice. We had the outstanding March. Uh, Welsh still owes us $805. He took a credit note out. We, cre we issued a credit note to him out for $15. We had the VAT of $225 on that. He then came and bought a pump from us, a cash sale for $20. And then all the other guys that bought from us as well. Okay, and also his outstanding balance. I don't know if I mentioned that, but that's very important. His outstanding balance that he owes us, we also include in this invoice that we, we issue to our customers. All right, so customer's control account, once again, this is an example. This goes on the debit side of the general ledger, and it looks exactly like this. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm just, and remember, this side is not filled out. We're going to fill that out now. Okay, once the customers pay us, when, when customers pay us, we fill out the credit side. But we, we've left it blank at the moment because we're just doing in the, the amounts that they owe us. And on the debit side, the invoices from the invoices that we supply to them. 
All right, so this is where you enter the customer's invoices, including VAT and the profit price on the debit side, and payments received on the in the cash book from the customers on the credit side. All right, very important. Okay, so Mr. Collins bought $718 worth of stuff from us. Mr. Church bought $920. The balance brought forward for Mr. Welsh, he still owes us, from March, was $805. And then Mr. Welsh came and bought some more stuff from us. In total, $777.25. The VAT for those items is on the also on there. We're also showing the VAT, each VAT item for those stock that was bought from us. The VAT totals uh, $313.75. And the debit side of the customer's control account is two, uh, $3,203.75. And also, I forgot to mention, remember, we also issued him out a credit note for $17, and that was $70.25. That is minus from these totals, just so you can remember. And also the VAT, the minus the $225. So, total customers is $3,203.75. Total VAT is $313.75 to put to the VAT control account on the credit side. All right, so... Bank statement and cash book plus petty cash book. So these these are just these are just reminders, just entries here. I'm going to read them all to you now. All expenses and income are usually done through the cash book. That is the payment of the rent. So that's just telling you supplies, electricity and water, insurance is all usually done through the cash book. Number two, wages and salaries, but not casual wages, are automatically automatically subject to PAYE. Now, a lot of the, all of this will be talking about the wages, uh, two, three, and four, five. We, 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 <coughs> we, I'm going through items which pertain to the wages. We did an exercise in lesson four. We taught, I showed you how we calculate the wages, the wages and the company's contribution to the UIF and the pay, payers' yearn. So please go look at that again to understand how they, how they, how they, how that all works out. All right, very important. All right, staff only have medical aid taken off in the company if the company they work for has medical insurance. Permanent staff earning wages have, have taken off their paycheck earnings or of less UIF 1% total earnings. Okay, this, but this just pertains to the staff. We've already done that exercise and, and I've shown you how to calculate the wages and the company contribution and all that. Petty cash is kept uh, to is kept to pay cash for usually small items, staff refreshments, cleaning items, casual wages. These are all just points to, re to remind you. And all invoices made out or received must be entered in their sections and laid out as shown, plus the VAT and all and also payments on the assets such as computers, desktop chairs, cash registers must be entered in the asset account, including depreciation at 20% per annum, must be taken into account. A depreciation journal must be done and entered into the running cost expenses section and credited in the trial balance on the credit side. Okay, it's just reminders of the petty cash, the cash book, and the, and of course the bank statement. All right, so let's start with the APSA cash book for the month of, of April, ending on the 30th of April 2016. The cash book is a record statement of what money has come in or out uh, to the owner, suppliers, and customer, and uh, the running costs of the business. All right, so let's have a look. Petty cash on, on the debit side, $45. Print and stationery, $15. With the VAT, they included to $225. Rent, uh, metro electricity bill, uh, petrol, uh, Vodacom uh, cell. Just remember these little entries mean they journal mis misposts. We have some misposts for this month as well. They're going in the journal. Wages, salaries, pay as you earn, uh, the medical aid, remember all of this. This is how we work it out from the last cash book in March. So go and have a look at that lesson four. Suppliers, factory B, $1,293.75, and we've paid them, okay? And then the bank charges. All right, so you've got a total amount. The VAT is $31.50, and the total of the debit side is $2,023.25. March's carried forward balance of $14,618.75. Remember from March's cash book, we bring that balance forward. 
Okay. The customers of Collins, Welsh, Church, these are the amounts that they've now paid us. Okay, and the interest received on that. You added up this total at $17,467.50. Now, you take this amount, this $2,023, away from the $17,000. Okay, that amount there. So this from that comes to $15,444.25. Put on the debit side of the trial balance. All right, that is in debt, so it's $31. You put that on the credit side in the in the VAT control account. Very important. See all, I'm going to repeat this again. I think we had this in the last cash book entry as well. Or See all journal entries. So all these guys with the little stars here. For changes to be made, changes made in, cash, in the cash book entries. Please check and see in the cash book payment and receipts that do not have VAT charged in the cash book. And some expenses have no VAT charge, for example, uh, wages, salaries, uh, medical aid, petrol. So basically what it says, some, are, some items are VATable and some are not. Like we don't charge VAT on salaries, okay? They, they earn a tax, they pay tax, so there's no VAT on that. All right, just so that you can understand, it is a beginner's course. So we're just, just going through it slowly with you. All right, so here's the suppliers' in invoices once again. Come to, come to get us. Okay, so we did this earlier, the suppliers invoices, and we had it in lesson six. All right, so I'm not going to go through it. You remember all the bits and pieces we discussed to that. So the reason why I've put it here is just to so that we can show you we're going to do a suppliers control account. Okay, but we're going to fill it out this time. Because remember earlier in the lesson, we did the suppliers control account, but we didn't finish it. We didn't fill it out. Okay, now we're filling out the payments made to it. We just put in the entries. Okay, now with that, we've paid some of these accounts for those factories. We're then going to put them in. We're going to enter them in. Okay, so suppliers control account to put on the credit side, including VAT. And that's over there. Okay, uh, this is where you enter the goods bought from the suppliers and where the payment in the cash book is made to the suppliers and entered in the suppliers control account. So let's go and have a look at the cash book. Okay. All right, did you see that we played Supplier Factory B, $1,293.75? This is, this is the amount we have now paid to Factory B. Okay, very important. Um, so, over here, and that's the amount over there on the debit side. So, that total amount is now paid. Just to, I'm just doing this over and over because you're learning this, and we need to make sure repetition is always good. Especially when you're learning accountancy. You can't just uh, be told once. And, uh, and you'll understand why. So this amount, this is how it all fits. Remember this amount that we paid. It's the same amount that we've entered here. This is, this is, this is the same amount that it added up to. Because this is all our payments. But it's shown now in the suppliers control uh, account. All right. So remember here, yeah, we, we had all these invoices. We had March brought forward. That's the amount we still owe to Factory B. And then we bought some more stuff from them. Now we paid factory A. We didn't. Uh, we didn't pay factory A anything. It's out, still outstanding. Okay. Uh, factory B. We had four hundred thirty-one dollars and twenty-five cents. And uh, the month of March for factory B, the payments were made of uh, eight hundred sixty-two dollars and fifty cents. So this added all up to one thousand two hundred ninety-three dollars and seventy-five cents. The VAT on the credit side was one hundred eight dollars and seventy-five cents. And the total credit uh, balance on the credit side was $1,696.25. We take the smaller amount away from the larger amount. So that gives us a balance of $402.50. That's the total purchases. You put to the supplier's control account, including VAT, on the credit side of the trial balance. The total outstanding amount not paid in the cash book of $402.50 Factory A carried this forward to the month of June on the credit side. So we've got to carry that forward. It's not being paid. So the total to put to the VAT control account is $108.75 on the debit side of the VAT control account. Okay, so 
Now, this is the customer's invoices, including VAT on the debit side. Okay, this is the same invoices we had earlier in the lesson and the same invoices from le the invoice from lesson six. The invoices to our customers that bought stock from us. So I'm not going to go through this with you. The reason we put it again here is because we're going to do a customer control account. Okay, for them. This is again, once again, I'll say this again. This is just an example. This is how it looks. The, everything that you see, the customer's control account is debited in the general ledger. And it's debited exactly like this. Okay, so it's just an example to show you. All right, let's start. This is where you enter the customer's invoices, including VAT, on the debit side. And payments received in the cash book from the customers on the credit side. So remember, this was empty here on the credit side and we did the invoices that we issued out to Collins Church March and all March's balance forward and then Welsh we issued out some invoices to them now we put that further up earlier in the lesson on the debit side now they've paid us some of them have paid us okay so we enter this now in the customers control accounts on the credit side remember Mr. Collins this debit side entry he now paid us that's seven eighteen dollars Mr. Church he now paid us the $920. Mr. Welsh's uh, balance brought forward of $805. Uh, dollars, sorry, he now paid us. And then, of course, Mr. Welsh's $777.25 minus the $17.25 for the credit note. He paid us. Yeah, some of it. Not all of it. He's only got $380 here. Okay. So that was a part payment by him. So, let's add up. The VAT is $313.75. The debit side uh, of, this, uh, of these invoices, yeah, these amounts is $3,203.75. And the payments that were made was $2,823.75. Okay, once again, you take this amount away from that amount. That leaves us with $380. Okay. Welsh is outstanding to put to the customer's account in the month of June on the debit side. Okay, so we've got to go and put that on the debit side in the month of June. Okay, $380 to put to the customer control account in the trial balance on the debit side. Okay, and the VAT, the $313.75 to put to the VAT control account on the credit side. Now, we've done all of this for March. So we're just doing it again for April, just to give you an idea of how it follows through every single month. Okay, so we're at the end. We're at the end of Lesson 7. Yay, we made it. Okay, it was a nice long lesson. I tell you what, it was. I, I hope you enjoyed it as, as, as much as I, 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 I enjoyed giving it to you. Okay. Okay, please remember to please like this video if you liked it. Please uh, share it with everybody you know. Subscribe to our channel. Okay. And also give me any... Put some questions and comments. If you want to have a comment or a question, more than willing to answer those or help you with that. All right. Okay, so we're done. This is Sean here from Mel's YouTube book site, YouTube channel. Good day on you.